Back to the Making the Madness YouTube channel, this is Jonathan here to break down the news as Cedric Russell has announced that he is going to head to Ohio State. He's going to play for the Ohio State Buckeyes. He's going to likely roll right into the starting rotation hang that next season. Last season, he averaged 17 points a game at Louisiana. Uh, he shot 40% from three, so you know for an Ohio State team that just lost Dwayne Washington, who is basically kind of the same player, uh, a little bit better, a little more NBA talent, but certainly similar type of player. This is big news because Ohio State, you know, they had they have some solid options. They've got Mac Malachi Branham, uh, you know, they got Jamari Wheeler that that can take care of you know the lead guard spots. And with Cedric Russell, you're not really expecting him to come in and be the starting point guard. But what you do need when it comes to this Ohio State team is shooting at the guard spot because they have a loaded front court. The EJ Lydell, Kyle Young, uh, you know, Justice Suing, they have all the you know parts you could possibly need in the front court. Uh, you know, the front court's not an issue. And EJ Lydell, you'd ideally play him at the four. Uh, alongside Kyle Young, alongside Justice Suing, who, you know, maybe you can play three forwards, but th that's not the best basketball. But what Ohio State really needed was a guard who can go out and get buckets. And Cedric Russell is that guy. And he's going to come in, probably start playing at the two. Uh, they'll probably allow Malachi Branham uh, to run the points or. Uh, they have Jamari Wheeler who can run the points. Uh, we'll kind of wait and see on that. But Cedric Russell, he'll probably play the two. They have Justin Arns who can play the three. Now all of a sudden you're looking at Ohio State. Yeah, they lose Dwayne Washington. That's a big loss, uh, no doubt about it. But you can now replace Dwayne Washington and have you know similar production. Not going to be quite as good as Dwayne Washington. I'm not going to sit here and say Cedric Russell is, you know, can do what Dwayne Washington Jr. did last season, uh, you know, but he's a good player, a good complimentary player to what this team needed. And if you're an Ohio State fan, you're all of a sudden, with Washington leaving, you're like, ah, that's unfortunate. Now all of a sudden you get Cedric Russell. They're still in the mix for Jane Shackelford. We'll kind of wait and see on that. Uh, he might go back to Alabama. He might go to Ohio State. Uh, forget the other two schools who are on his list, but you know, you're you're just looking at this Ohio State team. If they were to get Shackelford, that would take them even a level higher. But having an elite shooter, having someone who, at the volume he shot at, shooting forty percent exactly, is beyond impressive. Because you know, it's one thing if you're taking like, you know, a three a game and you shoot forty percent or a couple threes a game and you're wide open. Cedric Russell was the guy. He was the guy that teams were focusing in on defensively. Now, all of a sudden, next year, he's not going to be the guy. He's going to be a guy on the team. And, you know, being a guy and being the guy on the team is a big difference because Russell now probably gets more opportunity to play off ball. He was playing next to Malik Wilson, but uh, honestly, he's probably going to play a little bit more off the ball, and that's certainly good for him. Uh, and, you know, he can go out, uh, not be expected necessarily to lead the team in scoring every night in order to lead his team to win. Now he can kind of play off the ball, uh, have a little bit less pressure, and, you know, I, I think he's going to probably, you know, shoot around 40% once again. And he's going to do so for an Ohio State team that once again is going to be, you know, in contention to uh, win the Big Ten, not saying they will, uh, didn't last year. I would probably still say Michigan and Purdue are better, but you know, I think Ohio State clearly is number three in the Big Ten and then four through the you know other 14 teams, that will shake itself out. But Ohio State gets a big addition here uh, with Cedric Russell committing. Thanks again for tuning in to Making the Madness on YouTube. We'll be back with more transfer commitments because... Uh, the the draft decisions, you know, a couple people decided, hey, we're going to enter the transfer portal, and that just means more YouTube content for you guys. So stay tuned.